Okay, this is what it looks like after I removed all the duct tape. Nice, thick. Yeah, I got to remove some more duct tape. What I'm going to do for the residue so it don't gum up my sanding drum. I'm going to take some acetone and wipe the whole thing down with some acetone. That should remove all the sticky residue and stuff. But it's nice and thick. I don't know if you can see. And it's solid. Those magnets shouldn't go anywhere now. I didn't go over them because I'm trying to reduce the amount of weight on this. Um, after I wipe this down with acetone, get all the, you know, all the gummy duct tape off that I used. Um, I'm going to take a sanding drum and put it on my drill press. And that way I can, you know, go around and keep it flat while I go around and sand the whole thing down. Nice. So I make it more uniform. And then after that, I'm going to stick it on my balancer. I have a balancer right there. Stick it right on my balancer, the bubble balancer, and balance it out. Okay, now it's come time, down time to, it's a little messy in there, but it's all clean. Like, uh, it doesn't, the, the stator doesn't hit or anything. It's, it's good. I actually balanced it, and, it, and it's pretty well balanced. For all that, you know, the uh, resin I put in there. So now what I'm doing, as you can see, blowing off some. I already did a few holes. I'm just drilling out where the resin so I could put some hardware in to hold the top half and the bottom half together. Turn it on. My, this is also another homemade drill press that I made. It's digital. That's a DC motor in the background. And what I could do is right here, I can change the speed digitally. Arrow up. Make it go faster. Boom. Thing goes, boom it goes faster. So, well anyways, now I'm going to finish drilling through. Screw the resin. Oops. It's all through. It just got, just got caught for a second there. There we go. That's a good, I guess a good video. And I got the little hole. I got them all the way around, so now I can bolt them, the top and the bottom cover together. Once everything's together, I had just clear coated. I made a little. This is just a vent. Sucks it outside. I just this was standing up. I just clear coated the whole stator with a really thick layer of clear coat. I extended the wires. I have two ACs. So like this one, and then two. So I'm going to use both coils. And I just finished soldering up. Uh, where did I put it? <laughs> I just lost it. I had it in the little box. Okay, what I did was I was able to get two rectifies a 600 volt uh, I don't know the amps they're, they're pretty beefy as you can see and what I did was so I can do AC current AC current on the other side AC current AC current what happens is that when you do that I can do DC out positive that's what the little reds for DC out negative what I'm going to do is I'm putting it in this little box with the lid and the wires will come in and the wires will come out and then I'll seal it all up with silicone this is going to stay outside because it's closest to the uh, wind turbine so that's why I'm going to leave that outside alright this is a clear coat I'm using fast drying formula, UV resistance, lace flat 
It's basically, it doesn't say, but I, it's, it's a marine grade style. Jeff from Missouri Wind and Solar has a much better version of this. Uh, the, if, the ingredients would be the same, but uh, I think his has a little extra, extra protection. So what I'm doing is the inside and the outside. I'm going to give a quick spray. I'll lay it on thicker. It's hard, kind of hard holding a camera and doing this. But I got a vent. As you can probably see, I'll do a quick. It'll suck it right up. Sucks it right through the vent. It's a little card box, cardboard box, homemade spray box. And the vent goes right to here. Right up. Into a blower that sucks it right outside and that's the switch that turns it off and on. So that's how I do my little tiny homemade spray paint projects. Alright, I just did a quick spray. Spray on them. I held them in my other hand. Wear gloves. Helps. <laughs> that way you can just, just remove the gloves. It's a little easier. This stuff is pretty strong. It smells like bananas. It's good stuff. Again, Missouri Wind and Solar, their uh, product is what you really need to use. Right now, I'm just kind of slapping a ceiling fan generator together. I want to see what I can get out of it. And that's just to protect the metal after I'm going to go over it again with some more paint, you know, a, a colored paint. But this way, you know, everything's protected. And that's what it looks like. It's very shiny, as you can see. Um, the Jeff does clear, and he's got a green. I'm curious about the green. I might have to order some of that. Okay. I don't know if this, you can see this. Let me clean the camera. Hold on a minute. Yeah. That's better. What I'm doing here is I'm adding a 330 farad capacitor to the output and what that'll do is when I get the DC positive I will be soldering the DC negative over here to the farad to the capacitor that'll make say I'm getting uh, 100 volts AC input input and it fluctuates between the two the two, the two uh, bridge rectifiers say it fluctuates between I don't know, say, we'll say 30 and, and 20 volts that'll give me half so we'll say it'll give us 10 to 15 volts what that'll do with the capacitor, it'll instead of making the, the waves like this so they bounce, 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 bounce the capacitor will straighten them out so it's more of a, a constant current. That's what I'm doing for my bridge rectifier.